How do you go about reclaiming your stamp duty when you paid the higher rate of tax and now you don't need to? Hi, I'm Kimberly Shapcock, qualified chartered accountant, property investor and entrepreneur. Let's sit down and have a chat. Stamp duty reclaims, which could be really, really important, especially if you've gone down the route of selling your own home into a company, but it might have taken a little bit of time before you could actually sell that property into the home. Maybe due to early repayment charges, maybe it wasn't quite the right time with what your income was doing. There are many reasons. But now you've got to that point and you're not quite over three years, you've sold that company property into the company, so you've only got one left. But you already paid that 3% stamp duty charge and now you don't need to. So how do you go about making that claim? Well, there's a few things to know and I'm going to also show you how you go about completing that form online as well. Or the current one, shall I say, because HMRC is always updating different things but let's go through what it looks like today. Before we dive into the form, let's just consider what we need to know before we go there. Now, you can reclaim your stamp duty if within three years of selling, buying your new property, which you've paid that additional 3% on, you've actually now sold any other properties that you own and you've only now got that one property, which is your main residence. So on that basis, that extra 3% you paid if it was looking back and it was the same position back when you originally bought it, you wouldn't have to have had paid this extra 3%. Key things to know, if you or your spouse own any other property at this point, then you won't be able to reclaim that stamp duty. And you also just need to check that there isn't any other reasons why that higher rate may apply to you. But if we've got over that and we're now at the point of saying, well, actually, yes, I've now only got this property, it's within three years since we moved into this property, we'd like to reclaim that money back. A key thing we need to know is there are some deadlines. So if you've just sold your property and you're now at the point where you're going, right, I can reclaim it, I'll get around to it at some point. No, get that done as soon as possible. You've got 12 months from the date of completion or the filing date of the stamp duty land tax return form. So you've got only 12 months after the, one of those dates. So it's very important that you get that claim in as soon as possible. So you make sure you don't miss that window to find that you can't claim back the stamp duty that you should have been able to reclaim. So as soon as that property is out of your name, get sorted so that you've got that 12 months after the property has completed. There are some exceptions where if the period has been longer than three years, you may be able to still apply, but I would just recommend that you don't hopefully need to use those exceptions except in rare circumstances. Now, when you know that you are ready to get sorted, the next thing is to get online and let me now show you how to complete one of those forms. Well, as you can see, if you look for the apply for stamp duty repayment, you can see where it is. And I'm going to show you the apply by post today, but you can apply online and it will probably be a lot easier. But this way I can show you what is going on. So there's a little bit of information there that you can see to show when you can and cannot be repaying this amount of stamp duty. So let's click through onto next. And our first question is, are you claiming a repayment of the highest stamp duty land tax on the additional properties due to a sale? So yes. And now we need to enter the details of that property. The key thing here is you need your stamp duty return number. So I'm just putting a number in, but make sure you have got that from your solicitor. The effective date of the purchase of the property is when you originally bought the property. So let's move on to the next screen and we will be able to see, are you the main purchaser of the property, which hopefully is yes. So you can enter your name, your address, and then we can enter the address that is your current address for that person. So I'm just going to enter a random address. One Derby Road is my typical 
one that we put in for demos. And then again, do you have a day and time contact number? So again, just enter potentially your mobile number or daytime number, whether it be an office line or your home number. And then we can click onto our next page. Now we, now we need to do the details of the property that we've sold, which was our previous main resident. So the key thing here is, was this within the three year period? Now, if the answer is yes, it was more than, then potentially you may not be able to claim it except under exceptional circumstances. So check that out if you do fit into that category. On this occasion, we're going to say no, because we have actually done it within three years. So now we can put the date that we've sold that property, which potentially maybe we've transferred it into our own company or we've sold it to a third party within that time frame, maybe having rented it or maybe just it's taken a while for that property to sell. So we can put that date in. Now you need to put the details of the purchaser in as well. So that was the date that we completed on transferring the property out of our name. And then we're putting the day, name of the person who we have sold it to. If it is your own company, I would suggest you add as follows with my company limited and as above. If it's just normal names, then it should be relatively easy to do. Then we just need to add the address of the property that has been sold. So again, I'm just going to put a demo company property in here uh, with just some random details so that the form will continue working for us. And then we can click next. And now we're on to what you've actually paid. So what did you actually pay when you did the stamp duty? So I'm gonna put a, throw a figure in of 15,000. And what is that new amount? Now we've taken that 3% additional charge off. So I'm gonna put a notional figure of 10,000 in here to just include something. It's now gonna show you the amount that is the refund. So it's just check that that is what you're expecting to receive. And you can put yes in the box, hopefully, because that should work through with what you're expecting as the refund to be. If it's a no, then just put your explanation in why it is different to the figure above. So now we can click next, and then it's asking for our bank details so that they can make that refund to us. Obviously, this is the happy time where hopefully we will be getting some money back from the tax man rather than having to pay money over, which is always a happy occasion. Obviously, for this information, make sure you double check it to make sure it's right. And then the final bit is there. Just check that it's the right address of the new address or the earlier address, or you've got a different address you need it to go to. And then you can click on the next button. At this point, you can then click the declaration to say you're providing all the correct and it's all been approved by all purchasers. And then we can go on to next. So if you do decide to do the postal approach, then what you'll need to do is make sure you print the form off, sign it, and then having signed the form, you'll then be able to post it over to HMRC with the address that's at the bottom of the form. If you're doing online, then you'll be able to click the button and then it'll get submitted electronically online. As you can see here, this is just a preview of what we've just entered into everything. And as we approach the bottom of the form in a moment, it will then show you where you need to do things to if you are doing the print and post option. As you can see, hopefully it's not too complex a approach to doing this. You just need to make sure you gather all the relevant information so you've got it all together when you do the form either postal or electronic. As you'll see, I've put a lot of gobbledygook into that form so we can just move forward and show you exactly what you need to be doing. But hopefully it's highlighted some of the information that you will need to enable you to complete that form. So you can get all of your information together 
And when you put all your information together, you can get all of that completed and get that refund requested. And obviously, as you enter your bank details, you will then be able to get that money straight back into your bank account, ready to no doubt get the next project. Hopefully today, if you've discovered the process of how to go about claiming that all important stamp duty back, especially if you have bought a house, moved into a house and finally got your property out of your name. So you've only got one property again, all within that three year period. If you have any questions, then please do leave a comment. Please like this video and do subscribe to the channel and let's make tax less taxing. less taxing.